for those of you who know me, uh, I enjoy playing uh, video games, computer games, so it's a, I also have a separate channel for that. So it's a fairly important issue to me, and, I, and in fact, in the past, I've covered uh, this idea of women and feminists being involved in computer games and video games and making all sorts of demands and basically interfering uh, with primarily men's enjoyment. So I'm very appreciative that Bernard uh, made this video, or, and, and the previous one as well, uh, the related one, about this uh, young girl slash female who apparently has succeeded in uh, getting money to uh, make videos about what she uh, misleadingly believes is misogyny in video games. Uh, I, I'm not shocked. In fact, uh, I, I probably would bet my money that a goodly number of men gave her money so she could do it. But um, what I do want to say here is that no matter how much the, the niche or the, the branch, uh, the sector of computer games, video games, is assaulted by feminists and uh, female inclinations and desires, I, in a positive light, uh, would like to suggest the idea that um, the gaming industry is, is fairly resilient. Um, let me make the analogy. So here in Europe, we have the uh, European uh, football, soccer to Americans, um, football championships going on. Uh, it is a uh, time of revelry and intense interest for most men. I myself have no interest in football, so I'm an exception there. Um, but uh, for most men, it's, it's a primary interest. And... Um, of course, all the marketing and uh, advertising and the like is, is geared towards men. Now, it is simply a factoid, uh, or sorry, pardon me, a fact, not a factoid, a fact that um, men are primarily, are more interested in this particular kind of sport than, than women are. And so marketing and advertising is, is targeted towards that group. And, and likewise, I think it uh, can be seen in, seen in a similar vein with regards to computer games, video games, that um, the fact is that if the gaming industry as, as a whole gave in and caved in to every uh, demand made by a feminist slash female, they would eventually begin to alienate their major customer base. And their major customer base is guys, uh, men. In fact, I know of men, uh, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, they only do spend their money on games. They don't want to spend their money on much else. So imagine an industry which just said, you know what, uh, you and you're still the large, large majority, men, uh, we're just, we're just, we need to adjust, we need to <laughs> acclimate to the new atmosphere, the female feminist atmosphere in gaming, so we're not going to be doing, I don't know, X, Y, Z. They will lose money. And I am of the opinion that ultimately to a company, the profit margin is the most important thing, which means that no matter how much clamoring uh, and uh, caterwauling we might hear on the part of uh, feminists and females uh, complaining about sexism, misogyny, and, and games, um, it's not going to do a whole lot. Um, you know, it's one thing to infiltrate political structures and, and take control of them, um, but when it's really just about making money and satisfying uh, stockholders, sh sorry, shareholders, uh, the money is going to do the talking. And I'm, I'm pretty convinced of that. And uh, as I've said on, in a few comments, the simple fact is uh, that there, the vast majority of games give you so much choice, so many options to, in the year 2012. You can play as a female, you can play as a male. You can play if you want as a transgendered. I mean, there are mods for that kind of thing. It's not my a cup of tea, but, you know, if you want to do it, go for it. There's so many options. You can play the game basically as you want to, in the most individualistic manner. Um, you know, so I know guys who play games with, you know, half-naked women with, uh, you know, age-cup tits and others who want to play more realistically. And you can play uh, a dwarf or you can play an orc. And, I mean, you can do whatever you want. So what, where are all the issues coming from? Yeah, there are a certain number of games, uh, maybe Tomb Raider and what have you, 
that uh, seem to appeal to more of a male audience. But like I said, most gamers are still male. It's simply a fact. And the, the kinds of games, action, adventure, shooting, that is primarily, though not exclusively, still a male uh, domain of interest. So it's no wonder that uh, the market and companies uh, seek to cater to that interest. They want to generate profits, revenue, and they, they do that by, uh, by appealing to what interests your average guy or the average gamer who happens to be uh, a male, quite possibly with uh, typical male interests. So I'm, I'm as amusing and alarming, well, let me make a final comment that I, I never in my few years on YouTube has it occurred to me to ask for money for my subscribers or anyone for that matter making videos. Whether I make videos about men's rights, or men's issues, or computer games, it's a hobby. And I wouldn't be doing it if on some level I didn't enjoy it. So uh, you would think that would be sufficient, but apparently for this particular female, it isn't. And, uh, oh, it doesn't surprise me, but uh, I'd be interested in seeing the kinds of people giving her money. Like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if it were, if it's in fact, men doing it. Anyway, um, thank you, Bernard, for making this video, and uh, thank you for your insight.